80,000 pounds payout to firemen sacked for complaining about his chair Christopher Bennett, 46, who has arthritis of the spine, claimed his condition was aggravated by using a 400-pound reclining chair controversially brought in by fire chiefs to replace beds at Greater Manchester Fire Stations. The Stockport-based fireman was sacked for gross misconduct for sending an email to firefighters across the brigade asking if anyone else was suffering similar problems. He won an unfair dismissal claim and has been awarded an £80,000 settlement. A fireman has won an £80,000 payout after being sacked for asking colleagues if the brigade's reclining chairs were hurting their backs Christopher Bennett, who has arthritis of the spine claimed his condition was aggravated by using one of the 400 pounds chairs controversially brought in by fire chiefs to replace beds at Greater Manchester Fire Stations. Mr. Bennett, 46, sent an email to firefighters across the brigade asking if anyone was suffering similar problems. He was dismissed for gross misconduct and lost an appeal. Now an employment tribunal has found Mr. Bennett from Stockport was unfairly dismissed. His £80,000 out-of-court settlement comes as the brigade faces swinging cuts. The tribunal also found that Mr. Bennett's right to freedom of expression under the Human Rights Act had been breached. More than 300 of the Calcutt chairs were installed in 41 stations across Greater Manchester to replace beds used by firefighters on night shifts. Mr. Bennett, based at King Street Station, Stockport, had asked his bosses if he could use his own rust mattress to lie on during resting on night shifts. He was told he could only use the chairs or benches in a snooker room. Steve Shelton, the fire brigade's union official who represented Mr. Bennett, said, I always knew Chris had been treated unfairly. Mr. Bennett, represented by Thompson Solicitors of Manchester, who has more than 25 years service with the brigade, said, Without the support of the FBU I would not have been able to get justice in my case, Greater Manchester Fire Service said. We are extremely disappointed in the outcome of this case. We demand the highest standards of behavior from our entire staff. Mr. Bennett's actions fell far below those standards when he ignored the email policy and advice from both his line manager and his union representative. We also believe that by soliciting support against the service Mr. Bennett irreparably broke an employer's trust, hence our decision not to reinstate Mr. Bennett.